Hey guys, so I was uh, looking at some paperwork and files that we have here and thought this might be a really good opportunity to look at some of the continuous improvement that has occurred over time. So this is all the file and paperwork that we have for Niagara Prehung and we kept copies of all the original paperwork right the way back to when we actually started this job. Uh, what have we got there, way back 2008, possibly, yeah, towards the end of 2008. Grab this one up, and yeah, just pretty much just looking at changes that have occurred over time. So here we've got an original order form. I guess one of the first ones. It's just a list of instructions and a date, not even a year on it. And then the next step, moving from there, obviously filling out the doors, the colors, all the individual pieces that are being sprayed, job number, date that it was done. Again, this is literally just a log of every single piece that came in. Over time, this has slowly gotten a little more organized, keeping all the dimensions and the sizes of the frames and the individual pieces of trim, all the colors, a bit more of a grid pattern here, so I guess it's uh, a little tidier and more organized. And we can see we hit a point here where uh, these little lines are introduced been separated out into individual jobs or customers, so the doors, associated trim and other parts that come with them. You know, it's all the same job number, they arrive in a batch and this way everything can be tracked individually. So again, improvement, we're at uh, what are we, 2015 now, so this is seven years from when this job originally started. Uh, later on they moved on to these forms, so it's just a bulk standard uh, printout that was done every time, all the pieces quantity, style of piece, and the uh, colors that were all being done along with dates and other information. See right down here we've got frames, screw caps, the dental shelf, all the other miscellaneous trim that comes with it too. Uh, next step from there was cataloging by name. So again breaking it down into individual doors, trims, the customers for these people. This way we'd go back to a job if they weren't 100% sure when it happened. We'd just find the name and track it down. So, same form, just written a little bit differently. Again, we're still including the screw caps on these ones, but we've dropped uh, putting in the size of the glass stops and a little bit more detail. It's not a lot of that's essential. You just need to know that you have a door, what size you painted, and what pieces of trim came with it. As for specific sizes, it doesn't affect how we charge the job, so you know, is it necessary to, uh, to get a tape measure out every single time and check that? And again, same thing here. Same form, I don't think there's any changes on that one actually looking at it. And then just recently when we started this, uh, this whole lean manufacturing process, this was the next step. So David created a more detailed spreadsheet. Basically, customer name fits up the top, but he filled out all these details here. So instead of having to write the word, as you see here, door, side lights, glass top, screw caps. By this time it's all printed out and ready to go. And we've also ditched putting the screw caps on the list here. Because they're just tiny little, uh, Tiny little things that come with every set of glass stops anyway and we don't charge for them, so it's not really a need to keep track of the fact that we sprayed those up. So that was that step there. Uh, next generation and step after that, pretty much just added a shipping column here. So beforehand, we were tracking everything. Uh, doors would ship out on different dates, so even though they're all fitting under one job number, we could have eight doors coming in together Two of them might ship out and the other six might wait a couple days because they still need to be finished. But the only date we were keeping track of was the date the entire thing was completed and the paperwork went upstairs. So adding the shipping column allowed us to keep track of individual doors or parts of jobs as they got shipped out. And then of course if you've uh, keeping track recently, we've gone with the one piece flow system. So now we use one document for every individual door, every piece of, uh, every set of trim or every customer that they have. And this way, Instead of waiting for a full set or a full page of work to be shipped out before we can invoice it, it can be done immediately as soon as the task is ready to go. And then of course the next coherent obvious step from here was break it down a little more. So now we have one individual form and we'll just cut that off. This way we save paper rather than using a whole sheet for every single thing. So again, I mean there's going to be more changes made down the road, I have absolutely no doubt of that. It's just a uh, just interesting to go back and see the changes that have occurred over over there. 
2018, 10 years, 10 years since we first did these things. And those are the changes that we're at. So yeah, just shits and giggles worth having a look. All right, have a good one, guys.